Good morning, family. It's me and baby Jay this morning. Everyone's sleeping. <clears throat> uh, today I go back to work, so gotta let Jenny get her rest. Um, she took the first half of the shift, and Daddy O's got the second half of the shift. And I just put baby Jay to sleep. He's sleeping so good. He loves going to sleep on my chest. Like Jenny even says it like, man, you always get him to go to sleep there. And I don't know, like, I can't explain it, but we got a really good bond going and we enjoy our mornings together. I'm waiting for Bubba's to wake up. He went to bed a little late last night. We let him have fun with his buddy playing Xbox. So. It's summertime and I gotta tell you it's kind of hard for me because you know it was just me and Bubba's you know and um, I miss him a lot like we're together every day and we spend time together it hasn't been as much because we got to take care of this booger and he demands a lot of attention right now it's just no way around it and me and Jenny have been working hard together so I gotta do something special for him this week. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. It's gonna be his go-karts or, I don't know if I can talk Jenny into letting me take him downtown to Fremont Street and do like the zip line. I think that would be super cool, but I don't know. I'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. So I gotta think of something special for Bubba Dews, so. Anyway, I'm gonna finish watching Sports Center and, uh, do the usual got to do some dishes this morning not too much because I got a lot done yesterday so I'm gonna finish up these dishes and hang out with this little booger So big. Somebody's awake. Good morning, baby Jay. Hey. Hey, baby Jay. What's up, baby Jay? Hey. Good morning. Oh, pa 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 is it good? Yeah. Have I made you a bottle? Because I know you're going to want it. Yes, I did. I love you too. You little booger. Did you have a good nap? Yes. Did you sleep good? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Mommy and Daddy and Bubba's love you so much. You know that? Are you going to say good morning, family? You going to wave to them? Breakfast time. Baby Jay getting his grub on. Watching Sports Center, getting him ready for it already. I don't know if he's gonna be a Spurs fan or a Cavs fan. Who knows? Maybe even Lakers, Pistons. It doesn't matter to me as long as he's happy. You know what I want my son to do in life is to be himself. I don't want to push him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. I don't care if he plays the trombone. I just want him to be happy. We love him for who he is. A little booger. Jay. What's up, man? What's up?
What's happening? How's your breakfast? Does it taste so good? Make you want to slap your mama? Huh? Is it yummy to the tummy? Hmm? All right, I'm going to let them watch Sports Center. So that's it, fam. We're just going to hang out, watch a little Sports Center, and relax. And then I got to go wake up Bubby Doobies. I think he slept long enough. A little booger. Booger one and booger two. You're finally up, babe, watching Naked and Afraid with my lovely wife, Jaden. I just put him back to sleep. What are you cooking? Wings. Ooh, that sounds so good right now. I had some extra, so I figured why, why not just cook on them. Oh, that sounds bomb. And you have that buffalo wild wing sauce? And the ranch. It's going down, family. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah, you <laughs> Uh, Ginny just made me some wings and we actually picked the wings up from Whole Foods take a look and I'm pairing it with some pomegranate limeade from Trader Joe's if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it it's bomb um, and we're watching Naked and Afraid so don't have much time I probably got an hour before I have to leave for work so I'm gonna enjoy this and just spend some time with my family these wings taste so good baby wanna slap my mama I know I haven't said that in a while but I didn't want to be rude in front of you today. There's the leftover evidence. I'm ready for seconds. Hey, babe, can I get seconds? Yeah. Last two days, he's been gaming like crazy. And he got really good grades. And he's been a great, great student in school and a great son. So how could you tell him no? So here he is in his little area. Good morning, Bubba's. Good morning. You haven't said good morning, family. Good morning, family. What's going on? Going to area. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Who are you playing with? Uh, Doc and Alex. Oh, there's two people online. Okay. Well, tell your friends, Daddy said, what up? And you have fun, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. All right. I gotta tell you, it's funny because I was a boy once. Now I'm a grown man, grown ass man. But anyway, um, you know, when you're with your buddies and mom or dad comes by, you get kind of quiet and he's like hanging out with his buddies, doing the, you know, doing their little talk. And I walk in the room, he gets quiet. I'm like, okay, buddy, I'm out. I'm gonna leave you alone. Have fun. Do what boys do. And I'm gonna hang out with, uh, these two in here. I think somebody's crying. Oh, Jaden's crying. Gotta go. Jaden, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, you know that voice, huh? So family, it's been long, long days to say the least. As you can see by my face, I barely get any rest or sleep. Um. And thankfully, Lee helps me out quite a bit, so um, that obviously helps me a bunch. But still, you know, it's the baby's just getting so much energy out of me. Um, this is to be expected. Like with a newborn, um, the first two to three months are crucial, and they're very uh, much adapting to uh, the earth and not being inside their mom's stomach. So. Um, they're just very needy and they rarely let you put them down so i know it's going to go at a peak at about six weeks so um which is usually what doctors say is like their their highest moment of like nagging and wanting only the mom and being carried and all that stuff so um six weeks and we're on week five so other than that i mean things have been pretty amazing um as far as bubba's goes and um Lego, they have been adapting to the baby so well. Bubba's has too. Um, he's been such an amazing big brother. I can't even put that into words. He's just incredible. And you guys know how amazing he is even on camera. He's the sweetest little boy. He has carried that on with his brother. And I'm so grateful. I prayed so hard for that to happen. So I'm really grateful that God answered those prayers for me. 
um, because I was really, really concerned. And little Lee has been so awesome. Um, every time Jaden cries, I thought he was maybe going to get irritated with all the, you know, high-pitched crying and stuff. But he didn't. He was actually very comforting to his little brother. He would go and say, it's okay, brother. He'd put his pacifier in. And he's just been doing such an amazing job. I'm really grateful, like I said. And as far as me, I mean, I know that you guys have been asking questions about that and how I've been dealing with everything. Um, I would be lying if I said it was easy because it's not easy. Um, it's actually, it's been a challenge. I mean, you go from having a seven-year-old that knows exactly what to do, how to do it. He's very obedient to having a baby that's constantly crying and um, not getting any sleep and then also being a business person I have things I have to do Lee has to go to work um, it's a lot on the plate but um, it's very rewarding at the same time so you got you kind of you know have both and it balances it out, out at the end but while you're living it it's really frustrating um, I'd be lying if I said if I said it wasn't but um uh, you know that's why i'm so happy that we didn't have a baby right away mainly we waited a couple of years and we actually enjoyed our relationship got to know each other fully before we moved on to that you know big step and having kids and you know i hope that's what i can teach my kids too is like don't rush it even though you feel it's true love enjoy the moment because once you have kids they kind of take all your energy and all your time so you don't really have time to like go have lunch or go to a movie or you know go to dinner or things like that not until they get older and you can only hope that they're actually good kids because you might not get a good kid till he's way older and even then they're difficult but um yeah I'm talking in circles I'm sorry but I, I thought I, I you know kind of explain this because I know I haven't because there's been so much going on like I just post the video and I'm like literally like I go to sleep like, I I usually respond to your comments I haven't been able to because I'm so exhausted um, and this would just be for about another month I think I can handle it um, it's been good and thankfully I have Lee's help because without his help I don't know it'd be tough It'd be tough and I think it'd be easier if I didn't have like work to do um, a job um, If Bubba's you know didn't require so much attention on top of that me being a wife because even though you know I have a baby in the house. I'm still a wife. You know, I have to cook his lunch. I still do it um, I make him espresso which takes time. I mean all these things seem so easy But when you have a newborn and a kid in the house and all that stuff and you're trying to adjust to life that little stuff can actually become big like taking for granted your showers taking for granted your cooking timer your getting ready time or doing your makeup time you know when you don't have those things kind of like taking up your time you don't really think anything of it you're just doing your hair you're just doing your makeup but those are things that I can't do every day now at least for about another month or so while Jaden gets used to life you know um but and and also I struggle with patience because I don't have as much patience as Lee does. I probably don't have any patience at all. Uh, so those are all challenges you have to kind of fight through because um, you just have no choice. So you just learn to be patient and you learn to take it one day at a time and that's all you can do. And there's going to be nights where you just want to lose it, you know, um, and it's difficult. You're like a walking zombie. but. I think I've done okay so I'm gonna call it early um, I'm gonna clean up this house because it's literally so messy and things are out of place I can't stand it like I can't function with a messy house so I'm gonna try to get some stuff organized did a little straightening up rotated all the cushions Lee taught me how to do that at first I was like why are you rotating cushions now it totally makes sense so I did that I straightened up it felt good at least been doing so much around the house he really doesn't leave much for me to do um, and I think I was just lacking that I was just like lacking you know getting things done around the house and getting my mind off of things and dusting and all that so I did a little bit of that I put my favorite clothes in the wash um, I have a whole bunch of black tanks that I love wearing around the house and they are my ultimate favorite if I don't have to wear like my going out clothes I just stick with my tanks because they are so comfy to be around the house and thankfully I have a few that I love 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 um, so 
that's in the wash and now I'm just gonna um, dust because these tables have fingerprints all over them and that is no bueno I'm a Virgo Lee's a Virgo so we're pretty meticulous about the things that we do and how we do them um, and it's kind of something you can't control my grandma's like I don't like Virgos I'm like why grandma because they do all that and I'm like okay <laughs> I tried but it's really hard to break those habits once you like kind of have a routine it's really hard to like do things differently hey Jaden hi buddy you like being all swaddled up don't you swaddled up mm-hmm <laughs>